everyone, it's Kay. I have a mini album I'd like to share with you. This mini album is made with the Simple Stories Sub-Zero collection and I used the Simple Stories Snap album to hold the photos and stuff in this, in this collection. I bought this collection originally to use in my day planner and I bought this collection because it was just so stinking cute. I am a desert rat. I don't do skiing. I don't do snow. Um, <laughs> but I couldn't resist the cute little characters. And when I saw it, I thought how fun that would be to, to use it in my planner. Um, I'm, a, I'm a total couch potato. I love watching the Winter Olympics because I... Like I said, I don't do snow, and I'm amazed that these people get out there and do uh, the amazing things, and they like to be out in the cold. I, I just don't understand it. So I just, I'm just fascinated with watching the Winter Olympics, and so I wanted to commemorate that in my planner, which I'll show you really quick. So this is my traveler's notebook, and so this is my month of February, and you can see that I, you know, put the opening ceremony, I commemorated that with with some little uh, stickers which are basically whole reinforcers and also the closing ceremony here and so everything in this traveler's notebook has has something to do with winter sports so we have the snowboard and the skiing and the hockey stick and and again skiing and so uh, and I did I did you know put an ode to Valentine's Day by by putting you know these hearts this heart was from the sticker collection and these these little fabric kind of hearts I got at the local craft store so there's a little bit of ode to February in there but of course I bought for some reason I bought the whole collection <laughs> and so I'm like oh my gosh now what am I gonna do with this whole collection and um, my friend my really good friend goes on a ski trip every single year and they have tons of fun she has the cutest pictures and she's gone with her grandkids the last couple years and I thought oh there you go that's the perfect perfect way to to show off her pictures and to do something for her and also to use this absolutely darling paper that I love so on the cover here I just used a four by six journaling card and and popped it up with with a cardboard or a chipboard, and this is from the chipboard collection. And I just added the sticker snowflakes. I uh, debating on whether to put a ribbon here or not. If I find the perfect ribbon, I probably will, but I don't think it needs it necessarily. So on the spine here, I have some of the pattern paper. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says no fun. So on the inside cover, and I have to explain this here. <laughs> when I'm designing, I put these chipboard stickers down. And before I totally decided whether or not to, to mount them on the page, I'll just use the, the sticker of the, of the chipboard, which, as you can see, doesn't always... Sometimes it comes off pretty easy. Um, anyway, I went to glue them down, and I, I must have forgot to glue the snow. It originally was supposed to say snow fun. So I just put the burr there just so you could see how cute it's going to look when I I have to um, get the snow fun on there. I, I can't find this word snow. The snow has disappeared. So I don't know where it went. It's probably stuck to something. So anyway, until I get the snow on here, I, I put burr there for right now. But I mean, just look at these adorable pictures. Oh my gosh, so cute. They look like they're having so much fun, and I always think, oh, I'd have fun. But no, 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 no. I don't do snow. Don't do cold. Desert rat through and through. Um, love this polar bear with the snowboard. Oh my gosh, is he just too cute. And so we have, you know, I have a variety of, of paper uh, protectors in here. So this is the six by eight. And I just 
matted the picture on a little bit of red and added some stickers. And on this page here, uh, well, you can see for yourself what I did. I added these stickers. That's just plain uh, uh, one of the journaling card cut parts. You know, and some of them I just left alone. Some of them I couldn't resist adding those cute little word stickers. So this one's a snowman right here. And I, I added a few um, snowflakes here. And then I added, baby, it's cold outside. And I love her green jacket. I mean, just too cute. Too cute. Uh, I, apparently, there's two different ski trips in this album. She gave me all 4 by 6 pictures, so I had to find a way to make some of them 4 by 4s and some of them 3 by 4s and I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, this one, of course, I just had to leave it alone. I didn't put any stickers on it because, I mean, oh my gosh, is that not gorgeous? I mean, it, it snow it really is beautiful <laughs> when you look at it. Um, and anyway, cute kids, cute kids with my friend and, and I had a few, I had a few verticals that I, I just didn't, I couldn't fit them anywhere. I couldn't cut them down. So I got these little four by sixes to throw in there. There's only like two or three. And this is one of them with the big polar bear. And then, um, this beautiful picture of a stream on the other side. And then we have. You know more ski pictures and this one says the mountains are calling and I thought that was appropriate because it looks like they're on the very top there overlooking and oh look at how fun is this and uh, they had all the balloons going on and uh, it just looked like loads of fun and um, this is the one spot that I left for her to journal <laughs> So I hope she doesn't mind that there's really only one spot to journal, but um, I mean, I, I think you can see for yourself, they can put the date and the location and the, the rest of the pictures really speak for themselves. So I don't think there's need for a whole lot of journaling, but, and I love these little silhouettes. I think those are the coolest stickers. I love those. And so I decided to leave the back of this journaling card blank. And well, not leave it blank, but I didn't put anything behind it, and then so that so that I could decorate it. So I used the stickers from the sticker collection, and made the little. It's like a little snow village, and so you got bunny living there and polar bear, and there's the snowman they made. <laughs> That's my imagination for you. Okay, and of course you have this darling snow angel. Isn't she adorable? I just love it. Love the pictures. Oh, and one more little spot for journaling. You can stamp something on there. And oh, and I and I did on this, I did add a sticker over this over the Z over the O for the snow. I just thought that would be way cute. And this is one of my favorite. I love polar bear. So here he is again. Actually, I love all of them. I love the penguin. And you melt my heart. And I put one of those little snowman stickers there. But look at look at that picture. Look at how much fun. And oh, and they got a rare opportunity to see a moose and baby moose. So I what I did on this was I I um I just thought it would be interesting to cut the picture in half and put one on this side, one on this side. So there's mama, there's baby moose. And uh, anyway, I didn't want to mess with these pictures either because I just thought, oh, how pretty is that to see a moose out in the snow? And I mean, look at these journaling cards. How fun are they? It's just a darling collection and... Um, I was so happy that she had these pictures that I could use this collection because it was just so, I mean, look how cute it goes together. I love it. And again, some of them, I just didn't feel the need to add any stickers. They're just perfect the way they are. And 
not that these kids were being bad or anything, but I put up to no good. I'm sure they were being perfect angels, but I just thought it would be funny to put up to, up to no good. <laughs> and I love fresh powder. I love that. And here's another one of those four by sixes that I did not want to uh, cut up or make smaller. And okay, so this, here's another little scene that I created with the stickers and some chipboard. So that's from the chipboard collection. And then I just added those stickers. And then again here, I added um, die cuts from the ephemera collection. And I love this, Burlo Zero. Ooh. Yeah, better them than me. <laughs> Anyway, oh, and this, I had to put this little adorable guy. I don't think he did any skiing. He was way too little, but, um, yeah, I had to add, add him in there. He's just too cute. I want to take him home. <laughs> and um, then we have one of my favorite pictures out of all the pictures she gave me. And I just love the way this bright, the bright, vivid colors in the red are offset by this pale, pale greenish color with the dots. I love that paper. That was probably one of my favorite papers in this collection, <laughs> aside from the, the cute cut apart and stuff. And um, and here again we have another really pretty paper. It's like a like a grayish, grayish color with a wood, a hint of a wood grain in it which I'm not sure you can see, but, and then the snowflakes. And of course, a darling picture to go, perfect picture for that page. And again, the fun with the balloons and another four by six, fabulous picture right there. Again, the kids playing around, you know, taking a break from the skiing. And and again, another little scene that I created with chipboard and stickers. Love this, love this kind of old fashioned look with this red and it's not quite white. It's kind of a creamy uh, background. And then this, this sticker or this uh, die cut match perfectly. And I love that hot cocoa five cents. Don't you wish it was five cents? Oh my gosh. You go to Starbucks or something, get a hot cocoa, uh, five cents, please. Oh, I want 10. Thank you very much. And uh, then the last page and the inside cover, I love this red with the green. I just love that combination. So just added some of the ephemera and some stickers and there in a, and I covered this with the chipboard just to give it some dimension. So anyway, oh, in the back, cute. I had to put that that on the back because it would just you don't want to cover that up. And it's just so cute. All the different elements throughout the collection is all on this one paper. So anyway, that's my Simple Story Sub Zero photo album. Thanks for watching. Bye.